What's going on, man? What's up? Um, quick little hitter before I go to work today. Um, like subscribe if you like the video. Hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Um, um, like I always say, man, if you've been rocking with me, um, throughout the throughout the season or whatever the case may be, NBA, you know, we're transitioning over to baseball slowly but surely, and uh, I'm, I've been working on that a lot. I got a few bats that I might point out today, um, a few looks at baseball and basketball that I'm going to point out today. Um, I haven't been playing basketball much. Uh, I've, I've been on a lot of three-pointers here and there, uh, three-point parlays and shit like that. But yeah, um, it's it's important, man. It's important. Um, if you've been rocking with me, you know I've been doing those those parlays. Uh, sometimes, most of the time, where I take minus three hundreds and minus four hundreds, you know, put any three together, get the plus money. That should that should grab that should that should help you transition over to uh, MLB. Um, getting used to a straight bet. That's how I got used to straight bet. I encourage you to straight bet. You know, and uh, that's just you know. You know, parlays are fun. You know, you got to, you know, take your stats or whatever the case may be. But I, I encourage you to straight bet. And then some, you're going to have to lay some juice on some spots in MLB and shit like that. Uh, there's a lot of bets here that, you know, you can get to, you know, some of those, uh, some of those, you know, some of those shits like I used to play, you know, like we played in, in MLB. I mean, NBA or, or, or the whole season, you know what I'm saying? I like to go to some of these uh, low scoring games. But of course, they're going to be moving the lines and stuff like that, you know. So like like like, like the, uh, one a uh, one and a half inning score a uh, uh, run scored. I like to go to those, you know, and they're saying game parlay uh, uh, profitable. I mean, uh, uh, eligible. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just for example, taking a few of those and and some low total uh, games and just parlaying them up. You know what I'm saying? You could get the plus money or uh, even money, and, you know, because like I said, it's always one more than one way to skin a cat. And like I said, uh, you know, that's a minus 414 for three, um, uh, 400. Anytime you put a, 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 a minus three, three of them, uh, a minus 400s or minus 300s together, you can get to money like this or even money or plus money. You know what I'm saying? So, I also put it a little bit higher today because this is a uh a a, a, a a picture should be a pitcher's duel. At least they're saying it, you know, uh by the words of the books. But you know, those are some things, you know, that's a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of ways, it's a lot of ways. And then hits and runs. I I, 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 I always try to point out a few bats here and there that I like to get hits and stuff like that, whether it's uh whether I'm going off BVP or even going off uh you know, a lot of slugging and, you know, all the metrics that you know, baseball has to offer, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll put those into my player pool as for a fantasy, you know, for my fantasy lineups. But, you know, uh, I take a lot of things into consideration, not as much as everybody else. And then last but not least, uh, uh, your line total parlays, okay? You cannot uh, you cannot forget about these. Um, and I don't recommend them all the time. No, I don't, but... Your research can lead you to, you know, to a, to a, to a good bet here. Yeah. You get good odds, you know what I'm saying? You get good odds. Um, you know, sometimes, most of the time, when we often messed up is when we start parlaying these. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, for a small, uh, it's nothing wrong, it's, no, it's nothing wrong with that for, a, you know, a small bet, you know what I'm saying? A small bet for a problem. How else are you going to win? You got to take a stab. How else are you going hit to hit, hit, break the banks? You got to take a stab, you know? So, uh, yeah, um, so here we go. Let's go right off into it. Uh, I just want you know. I just want you guys to. Uh, you know, I want you guys to be. Pro this is a long se se season, man. It's a long season. A lot of games. Teams are gonna lose. A lot of these teams are gonna lose a lot of games anyway. You know, you can't really. You know what I'm saying? But you, you won't. If you know, straight betting and shit like that. You 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 won't go broke. You're gonna you're gonna find your niche. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. I haven't even found my niche yet. You know what I'm saying? But you're gonna find your niche, and you're gonna you know what I'm saying? You're gonna find you getting your rhythm. And then it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I bet it on, I think I bet it almost on all the games yesterday, man. But, you know, it is what it is. You're going to win something, you're going to lose something. You got extra juice here. You got extra juice there. Uh, Y'all know. Y'all know what the deal is. Uh, I just got a few things. Just just, just my leans, thoughts, leans uh, uh, on today. And here we go. Uh, San Francisco Giants at Milwaukee uh, Brewers here. We got an over under seven. Low total there. Uh 
Milwaukee Brewers, Brewers, big favorites here. Okay. Um, right off the bat, like I said, we got we got we got pitchers. It, you know, hold on, let me see. Okay, I thought I had something written down for this game, and I'm searching for it, and it's not there. But uh, I always do that dumb shit. Anyway, not I've never been a fan of the bats of Milwaukee, so you know that might be the Cubs and me, the Chicago Cubs and me. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm you know I really want to lean towards San Francisco in this one, man. I ain't even gonna lie, you know. Uh, the bats the, in Milwaukee just haven't been showing me anything. We got Long on the mound. We got Burns on the mound. I can't talk you off either one of the picks. I'm iffy there. I ain't even going to lie. Don't have a play for this one. Uh, something in me makes me want to lean towards San Francisco, though. You know, um, Colorado Rockies at um, Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Freeling and Gibson on the mound. Eight and a half total here, okay? These teams just played last week. And like I say... Uh, Philly, they've been okay versus left 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 hand pitching, man. You know, so uh, that's one thing that you can look at there. Uh, so, right off the back, you could. Uh, um, well, I get to I get to some bats in a second, but uh, yeah. So right off the back, you can you can take note there. Um, um, I'm gonna lean towards the bats. You know what I'm saying for Philly in this one. Um, I think they can be put up, runs can be put up here on both sides, you know what I'm saying, to help get this thing over the total. So I do lean the, over on the total as well, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's two things that I'm leaning towards right there. All right, bats on the, uh, in that previous game for that Milwaukee game, uh, Milwaukee going up against uh, San Francisco. I did have a few bats that I did uh, put up, want to point out here on San Francisco side. There was... Uh, uh, Jock Peterson and Brandon Belt. Both of these guys have a bomb versus him. And then uh, both of these guys are actually four for eight. Okay. So uh, that's those are a few two, 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 two guys that stood out for me in that San Francisco game. And then that Milwaukee game. I mean, uh, I mean, on the Milwaukee side, I wasn't, I didn't have, the, didn't have too, 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 too much out. Let me see. No, I didn't have anything for the Milwaukee bats. I'm sorry. At the end for this game, this uh, uh, Colorado Rockies game. Um, on the Texas side, I mean, it was it wasn't much. I mean, only guys that had a bomb against him was uh Seaman and Garcia. So those two guys, they have a bomb against him. And then uh 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 Corey Seager, he's three for four, but he doesn't have a bomb. Okay. And then um on the Philadelphia side, it was only uh well, well I I'm definitely gonna like some Castellanos, even though it's a small sample size. He's only one for two, but he does have a bomb. Uh, Jean, uh, Jean, Jean Segura, Segura, uh, he's a uh, four for nine. He has two bombs, and uh, uh, Herrera, uh, he's one for three. Just a super duper small sample size. Uh, I do like the bats there. You know what I'm saying? So we will see. We will see. And uh, yeah, Kron, Kron has been playing some good uh, uh, bat baseball. So you can look towards him. You know they do have new additions like. Uh, it's a few more guys over there that I haven't put. Maybe a Chris Chris Bryant or something like that. But yeah, uh, I, I I had some interest in Kron today. He's four for uh, fourteen with a bomb versus a uh, Gibson there. Uh, Toronto and uh, 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 Boston Red Sox here. Um, we got an over under eight in this one. Um, we got Evaldi on the mound. We got uh, Berrios on the mound on the mound, and uh, you know. This season, you know, you got Evaldi giving up five home runs. Then Ber Berrios, they give up uh, three home runs. Um, I, the, I, I, these teams did, did just play. Um, I'm going to lean towards Toronto Bats in this one. You know what I'm saying? Um May might have to lean towards the over. I think both of these teams, you know, both of these teams have the uh, firepower to take, to take the total over. I'm right? uh, not a fan of both. I mean, well... Uh, I get the pitching edge towards towards Toronto. That's what's gonna give. Me, that's what's making me lean towards Toronto. Uh, but uh, both pitchers can give up runs. Okay, so I think you know a, a, a total of eight can probably get. Uh, 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 they could probably reach that. And then you know one team, one of these teams have enough power to get hot to take the over, over uh, take it over on their own. You know, so I'll lean towards Toronto and uh, the over here. Um, uh, as for bats in the Toronto side, uh, I think I was, uh, let me see, I had, uh, 
I had Bo Bichette up there and uh, Uriel, um, well, and, and, and BGO, okay? So, um, Bichette, he's 5 for 12 with a bomb. Um, Uriel is 4 for 10 with a bomb. And then BGO is 2 for 7 with a bomb versus Ivaldi, e okay? And then on the Boston side, um, so uh, uh, Vertigo, Shaw, both of them guys have a bomb. Um not much. I mean, uh, not much else after that. Those are the only two guys that I really was looking at. They have a bomb against them. You know what I'm saying? You can't look to Vasquez for, uh, he's two for six, but nothing spectacular there. Um, so, you know, those are a few bats. If you want to lean towards the over, you want to lean towards uh, Toronto with me, you know, be my guest, whatever the case may be. New York Mets at St. Louis Carlos here, Car uh, Cardinals here. Um, definitely a, 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 a nerfy, no runs first inning um, candidate here game here so that's something that you can look at uh but anyway um anyway uh yeah so uh i gotta lead towards the mess with this one and, and, and with, with, with shirts on the mound of course you know and uh you know you know he's on the mound you know he's 3-0 with uh a 2.5 two, two two era you know what i'm saying um, you know, the Mets, they've been okay versus Riley's. They ain't lost a series yet this season. And, uh, you know, this will be a first of, you know, a, 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 should be a decent matchup here, a decent um, series, I hope. Um, yeah, uh, Max definitely own these guys. He, uh, this is his hometown team, man, St. Louis Cardinals, man. So, you know, he looks to show out against them, hopefully, and rightfully so. And um, that's where, you know, that's why I'm leaning to this one. I mean, the the, uh, the the St. Louis Cardinals, they haven't played anybody, you know, of no pitcher at this caliber. You know, they have been playing some less, some, some of the lesser, weaker teams so far this season. So I got to lean towards the Mets in this one, man. Of course, man, the whole, everybody's going to lean towards the Mets in this one. And uh, it just is what it is. You know, Mikolas, Mikolas, however you, you know, pronounce his name. Um, you know, this is a big test for him and the St. Louis Cardinals bats as a whole. But, uh, yeah, I can lean towards, I can't, you know, those Mets are nothing for me in this one. I want to lean towards the under in this one, of course, with the pitching we got, you know, out. Of course, I'm going to lean towards the under. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, there you have that. Um, bats for this one here. There's a few bats, you know, it's a few bats, surprisingly. I mean, uh, not, I mean, on, uh, uh, um, um. Um, on the um, on the St. Louis side, you know, you know that's where I'm getting the sample from. I did look at BVP, but that's where I'm getting the sample from. I did like a couple bats, uh, Corey Dickerson and Edmund. Uh, Dickerson is five for twelve with a bomb, and uh, Serge uh, uh, Egan Ed, Edmund is four for nine with a bomb. But you know, you know it is what it is with that situation. I'm still leaning towards Mets in this one. Um, Houston at um, at, at Texas um, over under eight in this one. Um, right off the back, um, you know, Dunning, he hasn't been pretty good, you know, versus, uh, Houston, you know, last season, he, you know, he had a rough album, rough two or three albums against, uh, him. He, uh, what 11 in his pitch, he gave up a few bombs and then what that was over a two game span, which he only pitched like six innings over a two game span. So, you know, uh, Houston has been getting, getting, getting to him, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, what else can I say? Um, did I have something written down on my paper? I thought I written something down for this team. Let me see. Yeah, I didn't have too much else for this. Outside of the fact that, you know, I know that um, Texas, they have been okay against uh, lefties. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to lean towards Houston in this one. Uh, both teams can put up runs. Uh, uh, both teams have the power to... Uh, go over this total. So, I mean, I'm iffy on both pitches. I, 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 I'm i going to get a slight lean towards Astros, but I'm definitely liking the over in this one too, okay? So, it's like the Houston and over in this one here. Um, What do we got on the Texas side? Um, Houston, I mean, uh, uh, Corey Seager, he's three for four against um, uh, Valdez. Then you got Garcia, he has a bomb. He's two for five. You got uh, Seaman, he's two for four with a bomb. And then you got, uh, that's about it right there, okay? So those are the few guys that stood out on that side. And then the Houston side, I mean, uh, you know what they can do. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't put any bats to the side for Houston, but you know what they can do, all right? Um, we got the next game up. We got the um, 
Cleveland Guardians at uh, Los Angeles Angels here. And, you know, uh, we got Bieber and uh, Lorenzen on the mound here. Uh, I mean, they haven't been... The Angels, they've been, they've been, they've been, they've been killing me, man. You know, so it's probably, I'm probably gonna have to stay away from them real, uh, real, real quick. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they got Bieber on the mound. Uh, he's pitching well this season so far, I guess. Uh, then he's going up against Otani and Trout. I mean, Otani is two for ten. Trout is one for four. I mean, uh, we know I've seen uh, Cleveland bats. You know, do they do? Uh, you know, uh, so I don't know, man. But like I said, Angels, they've been frustrating the least. I think I'm just going to fall back off the Angels, put them on the ban, ban list or something like that for now. Uh, they messed me out. It was a nice chunk of change Sunday. Uh, I think I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to just lean towards uh, Cleveland in this one. I'm going to give the pitching edge to Cleveland. Lean towards Cleveland. Maybe the under, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to lean towards Cleveland in this one. All right. Um, last but not least, uh, let me see. Let me go over here to some Cleveland bats, though. Uh, uh, not too many bats. I mean, Ramirez, who's been hot this season already, he's two for five. Uh, with a bomb, you know th that's somebody who really stood out for me. And then uh, on the uh, Angel side, uh, I don't know who that is calling me. Uh, on the Angel side, not too much. I mean, uh, not too much, man. Not too much. Not too much. I mean, Duffy is three for seven. Then you got Wave two for three. Other than that, none sticks out to me. Uh, Los Angeles Dodgers at Arizona uh, Diamondbacks here. Eight and a half total here. Um, this is a this is a head scratcher for me. You got Bruler on the mound, Kelly on the mound. Uh, got an eight and a half total there though. You know what I'm saying? I want to lean under here and the Dodgers, but you know. Both pitchers, they've been okay. You know what I'm saying? Even if you like Arizona, I can't even talk you off that. You know what I'm saying? Um, tell you the truth. So uh, I'm pretty much undecided here. Uh, you know, <sighs> man, 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 man. No play for me here, man. No play for me here. Um, no play for me here. Um, I do have bats, though. I do have bats put to the side. So uh, we're going to start off with the Arizona Diamonds backside. And uh, didn't have anything. I know uh, Varsho has a bomb versus him, but you know nothing, nothing, nothing interests me. Uh, but on the um, on the Dodgers side is where it, it kind of intrigues me. You got you got Max Muncy. Muncy is eight for eighteen uh, with a bomb. Uh, you have Justin Turner. He's seven for fifteen uh, without a bomb. And then you have a Will Smith six for eleven with a bomb. Uh, Cody Bellinger is five for fourteen with two bombs. Then you have Mookie Betts. He's four for twelve with two bombs. So uh, Freddie Freeman. I mean, he's three for two, uh, three for six. I, the the edge, the edge, the bats edge is definitely going towards uh, uh, um, 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 Los Angeles Dodgers without the without the research. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely, it's just I just can't figure out the pitching. You know, the pitching here. So uh, you know, if I had to pick one, it's definitely gonna have to be uh, Los Angeles. Don't don't get it twisted. On that, but you know, uh, these these guys could be funny, man. These guys could be funny. Lean towards Dodgers, so um, yeah. So for the ML for the NBA, man, I didn't have you know, I didn't look over anything yet. I mean, it's pretty much self explanatory, like riding a bike, but uh, you know, you got Boston versus Celtics, all right? Uh, I mean, uh, 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 Boston versus Brooklyn, and you know. Brooklyn just looked defeated, you know. I'm looking at, you know, going in towards the, uh, you know, I thought about, you know, going towards the end of the season. Uh, excuse me. I know Boston set out the players a few, a couple times, but it didn't look like they were trying to duck this Brooklyn team, man, you know. And uh, it just didn't look like they were trying to duck this team. They wanted that smoke, all right. So, so far, they got that smoke. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Brown, it's going to be hard for this Brooklyn Nets team to, uh, you know, recover from this shit. I don't think they recover. Uh, I think the Boston Celtics bring the broom out tonight. Uh, defensively, they just not all the way there. Uh, 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 um, um, Durant head doesn't look in the game. Um, Kyrie head doesn't look in the game. They, they oftentimes look old and down, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, a lot of, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know if it's the defense. It might not even be the defense, man. I mean, the defense does play a big factor, but sometimes these guys, they, they might look shook a little bit, man. You know, then you got Robert Williams coming back, playing limited minutes. 
I just don't think this team has enough. Uh, Boston Celtics teams look like they, you know, they're coming out their own goal. And then you got um, Jalen Brown, who's, who's supposed to be a, a matchup nightmare for these guys if we want to be aggressive. Uh, both of those two guys working at the same time. It's going to be hard to stop these guys. This Boston train right now. I'm going to lean towards Boston. Uh, maybe maybe Brooklyn might bring their offensive game. Uh, so I'll lean towards the over in this one. Um, so you could, you could, you could, oh my God, what did I just do? Uh, yeah, so let me see. What did I just do, man? Just did some bullshit. Either way it goes, uh, even you can go back into some of these line totals back here and, and take your, take your pick here. You know, like, like, like I was looking at, um, Boston in the over, right? So they had, uh. The over, regular over is sitting at two two twenty, so they have a two sixteen and a half here. I'm really thinking about you know jumping on that, all right? So I'm really thinking about taking Boston and the over two sixteen and a half. So uh, next game up, we have Toronto Raptors at Philadelphia 76ers. Um, I'd imagine, I think Joel Embiid should be a little bit better up to speed than he was last game. Of course, he's he's hurt. You know, whatever the ligament is in his thumb, it is what it is, or whatever the case may be. Um, Scotty Barnes, he should be better than he was last game. Um, won't be surprised if he starts. I haven't been on Twitter. I haven't looked at anything. I'm freestyling right now. But what I will say is, um, I don't like this spread, okay? So, um, I'm 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 leaning towards Toronto with this with the spread, okay, uh, and, and 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 over. I right? you know what I'm saying I'm looking towards you know I'm thinking I'm thinking Toronto come, comes out there you know knock down these threes today and, and play a little bit faster or whatever the case may be. And uh, both of these teams play at a small a slower pace. Um, I think you know I think I think I think you know we gotta see what the status is with Fred Van V, but uh, you know uh, they have multiple guys that take that can fill that position. And uh, the original total came out to uh, two and a, uh, 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 two eleven, I believe. Uh, with that spread, um, you got two twelve right here, plus nine and a half, and you have a, a plus five and a half at two o eight. Um, Eleven and a half, that two fourteen and a half looks kind of enticing. Okay, this one here does look kind of enticing. At, uh, Eleven and a half and two. I think this game go over for some reason. Uh, you know, getting it, getting 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 a few of their chuckers back. You know, this this and and Barney in foul trouble for somebody like uh, OG and Obi. Uh, I, I do think that this game can get over. So uh, this is one that kind of looks sexy to me as well. Uh, Eleven and a half at uh, over two fourteen and a half, and then like I said, uh, let me see. That nine and a half over two twelve and a half. That looks kind of sexy as well. So I, I, I'll lean towards. Uh, I'll lean towards. Uh, I'll lean towards the Raptors, and over. Okay, uh, this two fourteen and a half is kind of up there. Like I said, they do have a two twelve and a half back there, but. Uh, let me see. But uh, let me see. What was the original total coming out at? Two eleven, I believe. If I wouldn't have to do so many clicks to get back, wow. Right, 211, 211, and then the regular spread was eight, all right? However you want to do it, you know, be my guest. Uh, live betting is always an option for me. I'm always live betting, okay? And last but not least, um... <clears throat> I'm looking for uh, Dallas Mavericks to take a commanding lead right here. Um, I'm looking, to, yeah, at home, trash. The Jazz, I mean, come on, man. they just been, uh, the, this Dallas Mavericks team really and truly is the more hungry team. Um, last game, um, what's that boy named Clarkson? Clarkson did give him, you know, give him a, a nice spark off the bench here, but I'm, I'm looking towards, uh, I'm looking towards Dallas in this one here. Uh, minus the three. Uh, don't mind that. Even if you want to uh, tease it down a little bit more, uh, 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 maybe to a one or two, get a little bit more of that juice off. You can take them on the money line if you want. Uh, player performance double is in play for me. And this one, I have to go back and check. You know, maybe maybe some threes because, you know, I'm going to like this game for the three ball. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and I do 
you know, I did have a slight lean towards the over in this one, but we, uh, uh, none official. Uh, but, uh, you know, going back here to these um, total parlays, let's see if I can pull one out of here. Uh, the original, what was the original over under in this one was 210, right? 212 and a half. Okay. So uh, 212 and a half. Then um, I, I do lean towards the over in this one. I think, you know, they're going to, I mean, they, they, I think they're going to be shooting, you know what I'm saying? So we got 212 and a half. Uh, what we got back here? So we have a, a, a five and a half spread for uh, Utah here. One and a half spread over 10 and a half. Oh, I mean, over 210 and a half. I don't mind that one. Um, you have a, a minus seven and a half. I don't think I want to go that far. Um, 208 and a half. Uh, Dallas Mavericks. That one looks like the one I would probably go for. You know, if you like Dallas Mavericks to win, uh, the 208 and a half, I wouldn't mind going there. Um, these teams, they have been playing some very, very low totals, um, total, total games here. You know what I'm saying? Let me see um, what the uh, let me let me go back and uh, look at these um, totals. I'll uh, give you these totals real fast. Um, so this is game five, right? So they've went under this. They went under this total two out of two out of the four games. Okay. Where is they at home? Let me see when they going over. Where they going over at? They went, this total went over, well, 214. Game two was 214 at Dallas. Over. Then it went over at Utah. So it went over back-to-back -back games. Then it went under Saturday. It went under 199. And then I'm looking forward to go over at Dallas today. I'm looking forward to go over 208 and a half, and I'm looking for Dallas Mavericks to win this game. All right. If you like Dallas Mavericks and win and, and under, you got something, you know, be my guest. Shit, be my guest. You got shit over here. You got shit over here. You know what I'm saying? So uh it is what it is right there. Uh these are the plays right here that I'm very looking very, very hard at. I'm looking very, very hard at. Uh peace out, guys. Peace.